Alrighty. We're back. I actually haven't done any more Abyss since I uploaded. But I've been thinking about different comps I can bring in. So, we're gonna take another crack at this. Um, yesterday I did Abyss on Haru's account, my girlfriend. And absolutely smashed it. It, it wasn't even a challenge. <laughs> well, relatively. 36 star, but... The uh, comps were fairly different. Uh, I was using El Hatham Ball, Mahida, and Kokomi in Team 1, and in Team 2, a Novelette, Dea, Baiju, Kazuha, I believe. Yep. And that fared really well. Uh, I think everything was cleared without. With like a minute remaining except for one room which i had like 20 seconds remaining uh i think my buffs have changed but i i still don't know what this means character damage within eight seconds of sprinting i have eight seconds of sprint plus 20 percent All right. Um, I'm gonna try this one. The inside shall be punished. Teamwork is teamwork. A round of applause. Purging transgressions. <laughs> Got you. Wind strike. Step right up. This body. Ow. That hurt. Cut well time. The bird. I'm going in. Boba, get them. Eat Here comes the finale. Last thing that she just did, I don't know too much about that. It looked like she healed a little bit. Surrender. Time for takeoff. Quiet now. The doctor will see you. Here we go. Gotcha. Here comes the catch. Seems like an emergency. Mind the sight. Your sins weigh upon your soul. Your penance is due. You stay condemned. Your penance is due. Guilty. I'm used to it. All right. I guess I just got good overnight. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> what was I worried about? <laughs> Ail them out. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hang on, let me just... Did I collect my stuff from earlier? But I get my primo gems, my 150. Oh, that's nice. 
I was worried I would have to swap into a few different teams. I did a bunch of improvements. I think uh, the main thing, one thing that actually like really, really helped. Um, I did go in and yeah, I'm not, not using the right artifact I'll set on Linny, but my stats are kind of, kind of nutty on Linny. So 80% basically 78.30 over 2.31. So they're really, really good, good right now, actually. 90-90. Uh, uh, the one thing that helped a lot is I did push him... I think this was at 6 and this was at 7. So that that gave me a fair amount of damage extra. Um, and I was proccing a lot of these... Um, skills, bewildering lights with 4 stacks, which... Probably made the scaling like really, really high. So hang on, let me check. It's 81, 85.1. I was popping a lot of them with four stacks. Plus 267.5. And then the arrow is 300%. So that, that was tons of damage actually. Rocking on the arrows. All right. Yeah, I guess a little bit of extra boosting Linny needed was just enough to push us into the 36 star range. I also played a fair bit better to be, not to toot my own horn, but uh, I played that fight a, a lot better than I did last time. Um, yeah, I think I, the main, like, the main important thing is I kept all the Vermilion Hereafter buff up much more, because I felt like I ulted a bunch more. But, um, things I was going to do had I failed is I was going to run through Abyss again. Uh, I just pushed Tainari to 9-9 on his charge attack and ult thinking that I would uh, need to do that. Huh. So my team comp thought I for that was I was going to sometimes. do something along the lines of this, except with Kokomi in the slot. And then uh, my second team was going to be something along the lines of... Hang on. Boop, boop, boop. Where is he? Um, this one and this one. I'll treat your wounds. Because uh, the statting I have for Nova Light is pretty nice. Uh, 51.3 over 250, 254. And that's on the uh, 30 ascend. If I had him here, he'd be... Um, uh, not this. He, he's got a relatively good set of us. If I had him 90 weapon and ascended, I'd be hitting like 270 uh, crit. So I, not 100%, but I'm sure he would have absolutely torn up, uh, torn up the second half. Alright, um, in the interest of I see the value in my own, what I was doing but I also see the meaning in all the before I go let me just do the thing because I keep forgetting to do it my stats were gonna be epic for this team um yeah Lenny is base attack on double on hydro prior resonance is really high <laughs> um Linny, i think i showed him earlier 78 231 46 um he's running vermilion here after which in the mono pyro is not so bad um flower feather sands pyro goblet and then um Headpiece. Circle. B0. 
888. And Bennett. 6911. Just no blaze. Crit rate, fire damage, attack. HP, and then. Oh, the feather. Feather's not so great, but what can you do? He's running Skyward, level 90. Level 80 Bennett, 20k HP. Um, I'm never going to put Bennett, push Bennett to 90 um, on principle. With 90 Skyward and at level 80, he has 777 attack. And I think that's oh, very holistic for Bennett being an unle unlucky character. Jangling, 42, 137. Lots of energy recharge. Catch. C6. Uh, also, I, I use I run my Bennett C6. IMO. A lot of people make a big deal about Bennett C6. It's honestly not that bad. 2, 5, 10. And Jangling's artifacts. 17% crit rate feather. 25% crit damage. 10% crit rate. Crit rate. Crit damage with no great stats because I don't have too many Kabutos that are good. Kazuha. Hereafter, Vermillion. Lots of energy recharge on this. Crit rate, energy recharge. Crit rate. Crit damage. Crit rate, energy recharge. And some attack. But just running all EM with a uh, with a sting. Iron sting. Um, yeah. Do -do -do. This is no time for distractions. See this is the perfect time for distractions. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, actually, one Give me a moment change. To I will swap her back in in a second. This team, I'm pretty sure I've shown it off a lot, but this is how you call near perfect Sino. 98.5, 211. I mean, 221. Um, this 17% energy recharge is not that bad. Um, I generally see a bunch of, um, places being like, Sino should carry a lot of energy recharge. If you have some kind of battery and thing or a second electro that picks up a lot of particles, I generally don't feel the need for it. Uh, I'll feel it in the overworld, but I won't feel it, you know, anywhere else. 10, 13, 13, because I'm a C6 Sino main. 12 over 16. 31 over 34, over 3.5, or 3.5 over 3. over 31. 14% crit rate, 7% crit damage within, with that 11% energy recharge. 7.8 over 20. Uh, only 7% crit rate here, but 40% EM. Eventually, if I can ever get a hat that rolls into 9% crit rate with more elemental mastery, I'll be balling because I'll be 100% crit Sino, which won't really matter, but it'll just be cool. Bragging rights, I suppose. Um, Venti. Flower. Viridescent Veneer decreasing swirling Veneer swirling the Electro Res probably did so much for me in that last fight. Um, I finished with a fair amount of time and I probably would have continued and still beat it. But um, yeah, I'm a bit of a Kek W person though. I don't run Venti like full EM. I just have a stringless on it. 216 EM. Energy recharge, keeping him up. No constellations. Uh, not even a lot in his talents. Grand Ode. Yeah. 888 on your land. C1. Best artifact set, I feel like, in the game. <laughs> so many characters can make use of this. Uh, not an amazing uh, flower. Technically, I could get better, but it's just really hard rolling into that kind of stats. Um, Great Feather, HP, 
good hydro damage uh, cup. A pretty fair crit rate, Kabuto. Definitely could be better. I could be rolling not into defense so much, but you know. And then Baiju. Just um, all rolling attack. I used to have and only one 6-6. Six, six. I, I don't know why uh, Baiju would Baiju's passives are so strong. I don't. I don't really feel the need to push his um, his burst in E much higher. Um, and I'm just running um, deep wood. Technically, on um, off field uh, for Sino, I could be running something else for a little bit more damage or supporting capability is, um, but I just decided not to, because uh, this lets me flex Baiju into a lot of teams. Um, but yeah, because uh, Deepwood's not really proccing too much and doing too much for uh, Sino himself, but you know. Oh, hang on, I just realized something. Um, so he's using Jade, Jade Fall Splendor. Um, Yelan's just using an R1 Aqua Simulacra. I have R2. I could make R2, but I just don't feel like it yet. I feel like having the extra Aqua Simulacra one day will be better than having, um, you know, R2. Uh, where is it? I should eventually push this to 90 though. There's a bunch of weapons I should push to 90 just because of the fact that they're high crit weapons. But um Yeah, we we just I'm just not doing that for now. Anywho's Yeah, I just rambled for ten minutes after just going in and smacking up some bosses. Huh. Well, that's not what I expected. I expected to basically redo floor 12. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to export this, and I'll probably reach back around with a, another video doing some dailies and things. Alright, so I will see y'all next time. By next time, I probably mean sometime in the next week. Abyss is resetting in 16 hours, so uh, hopefully the next thing, the next video effectively I do is bringing Rithersley in to Abyss because his kit's so half and half for me, but I have no cryo DPS that I enjoy playing, so I'm hoping I pull him. And I'm hoping I enjoy playing him so I can bring him into the abyss and beat the crap out of stuff. Alright, well, I will see y'all later.